How are we doing, everybody? <laughs> All right, I'll let y'all start it off. So, just explain what this week's like. I mean, you've been in the league a few years now, but this is the first week you know going into a game you're going to start. I know you're always prepped with that starter mentality, but, but what is it like knowing this is your job this week? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think I'm just treating it kind of the same as any other week. You know, you prepare like you're going to go in the game. This week, I just know I'm going in, so I'm preparing the exact same way I would in any other situation. We talk about this Vikings defense a lot here. I mean, we've all seen them quite a bit, and Zimmer's pressure system and shows a lot of A-gap stuff, sometimes it's bringing somebody up. What, what, what kind of stress does that put on the center position and being responsible for the calls and the checks with the protection? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I uh, think honestly the biggest thing is communication between us five up front and then me also being able to communicate to Goff back there and getting us all on the same page to pick up, you know, whatever they show. They've got, you know, a really good front with a lot of smart guys in that defense between, you know, Barr possibly coming back and Kendrick's back there directing the whole show. I mean, they got a lot of, a lot of knowledge back there and a lot of good players, so it's going to be a good test that we're ready for. Has that communication been an easy transition for you? Oh, yeah, I think so. I mean, I think that, you know, sitting behind Frank here these past uh, three to four weeks here and then also learning behind him, um, I got here five weeks left in the season last year. Um, I've learned a lot just kind of sitting behind him and watching how he operates. He's obviously one of the best in the game, so, you know, I'm going to do my best to, to keep things flowing in the right direction and keep us communicating well. Did that end up last year, having those extra few weeks help at all? Like, were you here long enough to pick up what was going on? Um, yeah, obviously, you know, a little different system now and stuff like that, but, you know, just kind of learning how, you know, he handles the show and, and also, you know, being with being with nine that year, he's a really smart guy and, and was able to, you know, pick up a couple things from him too. So yeah, definitely those weeks there helped me kind of learn the system and, and how things kind of flowed here. Dan said he was adding a lot of uh, third down stuff when it's tough to, to practice and to all the periods of practice. What'd you guys get out of that today? Yeah, I definitely think that, um, you know, you got to practice things that, that come up in games. And there's been some situations, you know, where I just don't think we've honestly just not been good enough. And you got to practice those things, and that's the only way you're going to get better at them. Any sense that you carry it today? Yeah, absolutely. You walk in here and you look at the lights, and I'm sure this has been a very common experience for you in your NFL career. A little uh, baptism by fire as well on Sunday against, I mean, Minnesota's known for their pass rush. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, those guys up front, uh, you know, we got Dalvin, who I played against for two years at New York. He's there. And then um, Sheldon Richardson, I played against him all last year when I was with Cleveland. So, you know, I know those guys inside a little bit and know they're, they're great rushers and, and they're going to be a challenge. So we look forward to it. So you're, not, I mean, you're, you're fully aware of how good they are. How do you not let that get into your head as you head into something so unique for you on Sunday? Yeah, I mean, you definitely, you know, you got to go into it with the mindset of, of being calm and being, you know, collected, communicating. We work as a five up front. We're you know, five groups that work interchangeably with, you know, combinations here, blocks here, and we all work together. So that's kind of how we handle it. As prepared as you are, and, and you know, obviously did have the experience last year, still how meaningful is the first start? I mean, especially given the road, you know, undrafted and sort of. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a great experience, you know, to to get the start. But you know, I'm just trying to get out there and you know keep our cohesion together as a group and, and keep us moving forward and getting better each week. I know Chris asked about the experience last year. You did have some of those snaps game against Minnesota. So, I mean, just the chance to see, not on film, but, but in person, how much did that help going into this week? More questions. Um, you saw Minnesota last week, played, or last, last year, you played against them. So, getting that on field experience versus just the film, how, how valuable is that going into this one? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can see, you know, some of those guys will be back. You know, some of those guys, they've, you know, interchangeably moved around and stuff. And I know last year they were they were a little beat up on defense. So, you know, we got some some new faces that I'll see who obviously have been there for a while and, and done that. But, you know, any game rep experience is going to be, you know, invaluable. So. Even going from team to team, though, some things are just basic to play in the position. You carry with the Lord and the you go. Was that Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, you know, the center position, it's, it's a, a very mentally heavy position on, you know, knowing a lot of things and, and seeing moving parts. But for the most part, you know, words change and stuff. But, you know, it's center position. It's snapping the ball and communicating among the five. So.